Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone and today I am bringing you yet another episode in my Coral Island Diary series. But before we get into that, I have a few very exciting announcements about the channel. If you want to skip straight to the Coral Island news, check the timestamps. But I would highly suggest sticking around because the channel is growing and changing and I am so excited about it all. So the first announcement is that we have officially reached 3,000 subscribers on the channel. I seriously cannot believe it. I am so excited and so grateful. Thank you all so much from the very bottom of my heart for supporting me and the content I create. I actually posted a poll to see how you all might want to celebrate with me and it looks like I will be entering my live streaming era which is the next big announcement. So live streams are officially going to become a regular occurrence on the channel. I am so excited to play a ton of different games on stream leading up to whenever the NDA lifts for Coral Island at which time of course I will be streaming that. If you can't make it to the live streams, don't worry, you will still get my regular uploads and I will be leaving my streams up afterwards as well so you can always watch it later. So my first live stream will be a 3k celebration where we will watch and react to the very original Coral Island trailer together. I can answer some of your questions, we'll all hang out and we will even tour my Animal Crossing Island. So it's gonna be an all-in-one experience. So that's going to be coming this Thursday, July 28th at six o'clock p.m. PST. So keep your eyes on my community tab for updates and information about my streaming times in general. And leading into my next announcement, if you are a Discord user, I have finally set up my own server. So the join link will be in the description of this video. This will be a really good place to keep an eye out for updates and announcements from me, to submit your Coral Island fan art, to chat about how excited you are for the game and more. I really would love for everyone to have a safe space, to chat about the things they love and to continue to build this wholesome, cozy community with me. So again, that will be linked in the description and I hope to see you there. And that brings us to the final big announcement I have for you all. If you look below my videos, there should now be a fancy little join button, which means that memberships are officially live. So I have four different tiers, Citrine, Emerald, Amethyst and Sunstone. You can see what they have to offer here at a glance, but if you want to know more about each of the perks, you can click the join button just to read all about them. I'm personally particularly excited about my monthly members podcast called Gaming After Coffee, but one thing that all memberships will offer are special loyalty badges that change depending on how long you've been a member and custom emojis that you can use both in chat and in the comment section of my videos. I'm a sucker for emojis. You've probably noticed if you've ever commented on my videos when I reply, I tend to use a lot of emojis because I love emojis. So I'm especially excited to expand the emote collection, which YouTube will let me do as long as I gain additional members. Uh, so these are the starter emotes, which I think are super cute, but I definitely have some other very cute and potentially sus designs up my sleeve. So definitely look forward to that. I am so excited to be able to offer additional content without detracting from any standards that are currently on the channel. So please don't worry about missing out on anything if you don't or can't join. Nothing about what you're used to seeing from me will be changing other than the potential for even more content for everyone as I continue to receive your incredible support and as we grow together. So those were my big announcements. There has been so much going on behind the scenes. I have been working literally seven days a week on preparing all of these things and more. So it's really exciting to actually be able to start showing some of them off. But now here we are, time to get into some of the highlights from the Coral Island Developer Diaries. First up is actually quite a big note, which is that the team is working on the lore of Coral Island. Now we are familiar with the very basics, for instance, the existence of the Goddess of Flowers, the Giants and the Merfolk. However, their purpose and backstories, along with how elements of the lore will be 
woven throughout the story of the game is still largely unknown. I imagine that as the scope of the game has continued to expand, the lore is also becoming more elaborate and more detailed. I can't wait to explore the island and discover its secrets. Now speaking of the island itself, the team has been working on a number of new areas. Specifically, they have been exploring a redacted sanctuary area. I'm hoping that this is some sort of animal sanctuary. When I researched animal sanctuaries located in Indonesia, I found many, many results for those that were creating homes for rescued farm animals, along with specifically monkeys and orangutans. I'm wondering if this sanctuary is somehow related to many of the previous notes we saw that hinted at something special relating to monkeys and orangutans. And there's actually another note describing a monkey redacted forest. So I wonder if this too is related. What do you think? The team has also been working on something redacted related to the clothing store exterior. I feel like this is almost confirmation that the White Flamingo clothing store has moved out of the community center, and I'm wondering if the redacted element is a for lease sign that may exist before the shop opens, like the one we saw in this photo here, or perhaps it is some sort of clothing store specific props that will be at the storefront during their opening hours. There was also a note about a redacted design accompanied by a truck emoji. I found this particularly interesting because thus far, the only land vehicles we've seen or are aware of are Emma's taco truck and Ben's caravan. It's kind of bizarre because I personally never associate vehicles with Coral Island for some reason. Only horses, motorized scooters, maybe bicycles and boats, but the existence of additional motor vehicles is totally possible. So what other sort of truck do you think may exist on Coral Island? I'm actually hoping it's another unique food truck or some sort of traveling merchant, but maybe it could even be a fast travel option to reach the upper portion of Coral Island. As for the player farm, the team is working on more themed exterior decor pieces, along with even more new TV shows and even a house storage system. I'm wondering how this storage system will be distinct from the storage boxes we can craft, and I'm wondering if they may even be interconnected. Since the 2.0 update for Animal Crossing New Horizons, I actually personally really like how the storage system works. Everything is stored in your home and organized very neatly, but you're also able to access that storage from anywhere on your island with the use of a storage shed. I wonder if Coral Island's system will be at all similar. It would definitely be quite convenient. The team is also changing the crow system, which I'm guessing would be something to do with perhaps when and what triggers crows to come peck at your crops, and perhaps the implementation of different scarecrows as well. Also, any ideas as to what a redacted seed list may contain? Are these new types of crops perhaps only available at a certain shop? Are these seeds of a certain quality? Is magic involved? I have so many questions. If you've been wondering about mini games, or maybe even forgot about them, don't worry, they are still very much in the works. Hints at different mini games include a jack o' lantern, waves, and a balloon. The jack o' lantern hint seems to point to something spooky. Maybe we can somehow carve pumpkins smash pumpkins or search around town for jack-o'-lanterns. I wonder if the waves emoji is hinting at some sort of surfing mini game since we know that Valentina loves surfing and practices lots in the summer with Nina. I could also see the balloon emoji hinting at one of those balloon pop games, but it also makes me think of the potential hot air balloons that we may expect to see in the game based on the cover art, especially since this balloon emoji was included in a note about a redacted festival concept. I feel like this one's gotta be about hot air balloons. And no Coral Island Diaries video would be complete without checking in on our beloved NPCs. The team has been working on character emoticons and emotion animations. The emoticons are likely the cute little reactions we've seen above many of the characters' heads that are displayed in our interactions with them. I'm hoping that ultimately we will be able to choose from these ourselves and display them in multiplayer at 
at least. The NPC emotions make me feel as though they may actually be animating a variety of emotional expressions on the faces of the NPC's 3D models, but I'm not sure if that's just wishful thinking. They've also been setting up a new NPC, likely the one we first heard of in the last episode, and they are actually creating the initial draft on new NPC profiles, which means, yes, we will be getting those very much sought after biographies. I cannot wait. The final piece of news for today's video is actually pretty huge, which is that porting is actually in progress. Now, it doesn't specify what console they are currently porting to, but we do know that they at least have a Nintendo Switch dev kit in their hands, so it definitely could be the Switch port that they're working on. I know that so many of you are really looking forward to that Switch release, and I am too, so I really hope that this is an indication that we can expect to see it sometime in 2023. Fingers crossed. So those were the highlights from the recent developer diaries that I wanted to talk about and now it's time for your top comments. So these comments were left on the last episode of the Coral Island Diaries series. The first one is from Ocean Eyes who said that they keep imagining someone from the Stairway Games team watching my videos and being like, oh, that would have been such a good idea. This comment made me laugh so much. So thank you so much for brightening my day. The other top comment was from White Star, who had some of the greatest ideas, so definitely would recommend actually giving this one a full read. But I wanted to share this one part of the comment about the sus chickens. They said, does anybody else get a bit of a cold shiver with the thought that they play at looking not that intelligent, but secretly they are plotting to take over the world? And if that doesn't hit the nail right on the head with the sus chicken vibe, I don't know what would. I thought that was so on point and so funny. Um, but again, lots of great ideas about like spirit trees and the Coral 3 and stuff. So definitely again, recommend giving this comment a read. Thank you so much for sharing your amazing thoughts. Thank you all so much for commenting on all of my videos. I always love hearing from you. So be sure to comment down below on this video and maybe you'll be featured in one of my next. And before I leave you today, let's take a look at today's amazing fan art. Today's amazing fan art is so cool and so well done. I am obsessed with this concept. So this art is by Threading Pixels, who sent me their design of one of the Fall Guys beans in a sus chicken costume. I loved seeing a conceptual collab between these two brands. Apparently Threading Pixels will be launching their own embroidery designs on t-shirts this coming fall. From what I've seen so far, they look really cute, so definitely keep an eye on them. I will link their information in the description of this video. And thank you so, so much, Threading Pixels, for sharing your amazing art with us. So, wow, that was a big video. I hope you made it all the way through with me. Once again, thank you all so much for all of your support. I'm so excited about this new chapter. So with all that being said, I so look forward to hearing from you in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And until next time, take care.